Hello everybody and welcome back to Endzone. We're still alive, that's a good thing I guess. And well, what we want to do now is that I've been thinking about quite some time what to do now. Well, of course the next step would be to go for the research station to um, research new things. The problem is though we are so low on tools and radiation protection that it's basically unavoidable that we build a second tailor and a second workshop. At least I don't see any other way how we could do it differently because um, we need that as well for the higher or the increasing amount of radiation that will be coming in soon as well. And yeah, we just can't keep it in stock. Um, herbs we keep in stock, so that is a building that I can save for now. The gatherer is doing a good job there. Um, and other than that, yeah, we don't have anything else here really. The scrapyard is out of scrap, by the way. I did not notice that. Um, let's continue. So it's, it's getting a bit slower now getting the scrap because it's further away. Look at that. It's 2,700 scrap waiting here. There's also a little abandoned village of abandoned town here. That is really interesting. That's pretty cool there. There's also something interesting or valuable in here. So once we have the expedition station, we could do it. Speaking of the expedition station, that might be a building that we could do now. Um, this one requires though metal. Metal, again, we don't have because we don't have enough metal in store with one refiner. It's tricky. Should we build a second building of all of these types? Apply more people to that to increase the productivity? In my opinion, yes. For now, we should do that. Let's get... Let's see, there's the scrap going as well, so we can have a road here now for a few more industrial buildings in this area. Um, also going up here, right? So we can squeeze a few more of these buildings in here. Scrapyard, how many people have we assigned there? Three at the moment, um, and we have two builders, right? This water carrier here, I think we don't need for the moment. Let's have three builders so we can do these projects there quickly. Wood, we also don't have that much. I am a bit worried about my things, right? The charcoal burner is consuming a lot of wood. Um, let's get one more recycler up and running. Um, one more workshop. In that case, where should we have this workshop? We might just have it here by the other one. Squeezing it in here. Absolutely possible to squeeze this one in. Let's do this. Uh, logistics. Dirt road. And let's have a road there around the scrapyard as well. Right, so around the scrapyard we have then all these uh, buildings because, well, they need the resources from the scrapyard. So it's a good thing to keep it close. Another workshop for more tools um, and the protecting clothes, uh, clothing. That means we do need, well, another tailor workshop as well. Even though I hate the idea of having two buildings of the same type there. I just can't see it any differently at the moment. So let's have, let's squeeze that tailor in here like so. Right, we need to get rid of the root there though. So there it is. Then we're just going to have the road around it again. Hmm, yeah, like so. Okay, so that we have these two additional buildings there. The water tower, does it require people? The water tower requires people as far as I can see. That's the water carriers. I have no idea why, because water is going in here anyway, as we can see, right? So once the wells are full, the water is being then directed to the water tower. So I, I, I don't see any reason to have the water tower in here, other than the filtration. Perhaps that needs some people working on it then, but who knows? Um, so these things are being built, as we can see. The next recycler is finished. Let's have a metal here right away. Um, the workshop and the tailor. The workshop is coming up first, I think. Nope, the tailor, most likely. You know what, we don't have metal for each one of them anyway. Um, the recycler is that. We have four recyclers. Nope, I need one more. There it is. So that's a good thing. We have now another one that is producing metal for us. The bad thing is we're really low on scrap. And as we can see, this scrapyard here, that's just a long way off there. Um, I might actually also need a second scrapyard. The workshop doesn't have a met ha doesn't have metal anymore, so it can't produce. Really bad at the moment. Gotta say that. No idea how we get these resources up. My people consume a lot of tools. It's day 14. Another drought is incoming, but we don't have to worry about that. Food is also looking fine. 17 children, a lot of them turning adults soon. So we have already the workplaces for them ready then. And another scrapyard. 
Where should we have that? Down here. Yeah, there we have lots of scrap for another one. Problem is, though, then we would have to transport these resources all the way up here. So it might be a good idea to have the scrap here right next to the other one. Because we can assign the work areas then anyway. So they have to go some distances. Either way. Let's just see. I think up here we have a bit of scrap. There is a bit of scrap. There is lots of scrap. There is scrap. Yeah. So I think we might just have it here then as well. Hmm. I don't like the idea of it, but we have to. Let's place it here. A new scrapyard. Um, rather close to the village then. But it's needed for these scrap piles here, right? That are everywhere here. And then we have the store house or the store room. So it should be close to that. Right, the tailor is being built. The other workshop is finished as well. So all these adults coming in now, we can reassign them right away to tailors and to technicians. Very good. Being used on that right away. Of course, this is now increasing my scrap production quite a lot. Also, wood is basically out almost. Um, do we have the forester? Oh, we oh we need more foresters. All right, let's get two more foresters up there. So we have double our wood production now. Coal we have plenty of anyway. Taylor Workshop is producing another activated carbon mask. That is more coal than that it needs. Um, and this workshop is producing the metal tools now as well. So both of them are doing that. Quite a busy district that we have there now. Another four adults are coming up. Look at that, how quickly this is growing right now. Let's get a second builder and scrap collectors. Oh yeah, we do need the scrap collectors. Right? This one has now workers too. And we can move it down here to that to these scrap piles there. And we need more houses as well. Since the town is growing, let's have another cabin. There's some scrap piles here, so I cannot build any cabins there at the moment. We might just continue up here with another block. Right, and perhaps there we have another block of houses then. How much does it cost again? Eight wood, it's really not that much. Let's have two more cabins than here as well. Right, so long term wise, this scrapyard or this scrap deposit there is going away anyway, storage deposit. And this one here is going away as well. And then we can build here as well. Um, and then further move down here now. Scraps is coming in again, that's a good thing, but the wood is out. I will probably need to reduce the amount of charcoal burners because they consume the wood. And I will need another forester lodge as well. By the way, to get a bit more wood in quickly, let's gather the wood task. And... Yeah. Let's do this here. For those trees there. Right? Yeah. And we will have then the forester, another forester here as well. In this area. Very good. And let's also have a rule for this. Going from my village, which will end kind of like then here. And there we have then the road going down. Very good. And I still have now room for a few more buildings here then as well in the center. Or, well, closing in to the industrial zone. Uh, no wood now. I hope there's more coming in now quickly. How many adults do we have? Only one. And yes, we do have a lot of plastic in store right now. So I'm inclined to go with the recycler that's producing the plastic right now and move him to the metal. We need still more metal um, also for my research station then. Um, so that's important So we produce that as well. Even though cloth might be good too, but yeah. Uh, cloth might be even the better choice here. No idea, we'll see about that. Um, the houses are coming up. Oh, there's also a little... Oh, it's drought day. <laughs> totally forgot about that. It's the drought once again, so as we can see, getting a bit dry here, and 
We don't have much water in the water tower. We have a bit of water storage though. And the wells, of course, continue producing the water for us. So that's a godsend in this case. Um, I think it's enough water anyway. And as we can see, happiness is also pretty high. So that means a higher rate of reproduction. Newborn settlers will live slightly longer as well. Very good for our colony. And health levels are also pretty high. Herbs, we have enough. And I think we just lost an adult there. But that can be to various reasons. Perhaps due to age. Another block of houses has been finished here. I think we still need a dirt road. There. So these are kind of like the out, outer houses there now. Because now I want to more focus on the... On this area there um, we could use these cows then by the way for farms once we have unlocked the farming so it, it is also a good idea to not kill all of them bit of wood is coming in again eh? yeah scrap is looking fine now hmm tools we have now plenty we have enough for the research station so I'm actually inclined to go with the research station now with this we can get Finally, some really good stuff then. Oh, it's huge. I did not expect it to be that big. Hmm. Yeah, I might want to have it then here. Once we are get, uh, got rid of all the scrap here. Right. Let's move this scrapyard to this area for now. So that it get, gets rid of these scrap piles here. Then we can have the research station there. It's huge. My goodness. We also have the expedition. That's a bit smaller. That we could have somewhere else. Perhaps even here. Our expedition station. And also our next forester is coming up. So that we keep a steady supply of wood. Let's move it up to this side there. And yeah, let's have two foresters there in addition right on it. Since we do get a lot of adults in here. By the way, we are over 60 people now. Close to 70. Um, pretty cool how fast it is happening. Um, protective clothing is still the major problem. We have the tailors. I've also moved another refiner here or recycler to clothing. So that we have enough of that. Um, metal clothing we have enough at the moment. Um, so we can actually focus on new things for our community as well. Food is also fine. Wait a second for the food. We could now go for some fields. Right? Starting with the farming. Um, with the farming I would like to start in this area. Since we got lots of green area here. And it's without mountains and stuff like that. This one here is going away anyway at some point. So it looks good. For this, we do need another building though entirely. And that is, where is it? The food dispensary. So the food dispensary is continuously stocked with food and can consequently shorten the routes to food intakes. So this one here then, you know, is for the fields. We can have the food there and then it's being brought to the market later. Right in the storeroom, cannot be used uh, for water, I guess, and perhaps for food. How much doesn't say though how much food it can store but we'll see that anyway at some point um let's for the shelters i would like to have a few more shelters here because we have the space so let's have for the housing let's have one more house block here then later because the town is getting really big i tell you that um having here the shelters very good so that is another block then let's get rid of them for now though i don't need to build them and here we can then have the food dispensary. This one can be built though. And then we can have the fields here. Um, yeah, food is looking not so bad. But since we're growing quickly, I want to have always a lot of food in store, right? And that's what we can do here. So there is our fields that we're going to have. Let's start with that. We could also have an orchard. An orchard provides food like fruits and nuts from trees. Also, an orchard can be created without construction code. It needs more time um, for the trees to grow. All right, so it might be a good idea to have a mixture of those things. Let's have our first farm in here. All right, perhaps another one. And for the orchard, let's have this one out here. Oh, it needs to be huge. No. That's not right. Ah, there it is. This might be one. And there we have it. Right? So they're being built right away. We need to choose a seed for that. We don't have many seeds yet. So um, I'm going to choose... 
black salsify and wheat. Of course, we're going with the wheat here for this one. And for this one, it's wheat as well. Choose the wheat. Choose the wheat. All right. And for the orchard, we can choose apples. Now, we still need a few farmers. We have three settlers left over. So that's my three farmers. So every fa field here ha now has one worker. Though, of course, as we can see, we do need more of them. Still. Now, the food dispensary is then here for this area too. So there's going to be lots of fields. I like the idea of that. Um, we need, again, more housing. So perhaps a few more cabins here. I really want to use as much space as possible before we go down to the south there because I know we're going to need a lot of houses at some point. Right, let's squeeze them in here. Three more houses there. About the main road. We have the main road then here. Probably a good idea to continue with that. And up here we can also go with another road then for the farms. The same thing with here. Oh, there's a huge building here. Where we might take the scraps then out of it. And there the next houses are coming up. Very good. We have a few shelters there again. It's really just the roads now here that we have there. And as we can see, the first trees are growing as well in this field. Our apple trees for some juicy Sleepy Hollow apple juice. Right, how's it looking with the scrap yards? There's still 2,400 scrap for this one, 300 scrap in this area. As we can see, these scrap piles here are vanishing now, so we have there a bit more space. They're digging it away. The next one is gone. And as we can see, this guy here, for example, wears a mask. And we can also see now, um, when they have it, the clothing, the tools, the education they have received, um, thus are a bit more productive, perhaps. This is our farmer here. No, it's the forester. Still, that is fine, I think. Yeah, let's assign the next two settlers here to the farms. The more farmers we have, the faster it's growing. I'm still waiting for that food dispensary to be built. We have a lot of tools. That's a good thing. We still don't have enough, enough, enough clothing here. Where's my tailor? There's my tailor. What's going on here? He actually has food. Uh, food, I say, mask stored. Four of them at the moment. It's just not enough. More adults? Four more adults? It's incredible. We have 25 children at the moment. It's growing really quickly. This actually needs a workforce. Yep. And it takes all types of food. Right. That's a logician. This guy here, he's doing that now. Delivering then, perhaps the food. Change the field of work. Right. He takes the, the hunters there as well. So he's just transporting stuff around. Mm, water is getting lower again. Um, we are not in any drought though. But I can use some of these settlers here as a water carrier. And let's also have some more wells. Um... Here we have the water tower, so I can have another well then here. I think it's 80% right now. Oh, there is a well. Right, this one here is fully used now. There we can have another one. Oh! Radiation is coming in, as we can see. A lot of it. Very bad. We should have more protection now against it. So this is only light radiation. It doesn't hurt us that much yet. But it's going to medium then rather soon. We have something for that, to fight that. And there it is, decontamination post. So this one here is, that those are the people that are just taking away then radiation. Right, from all around. All around. And we should have that, I guess, somewhere here then as well. A post like this. Let's have it up here in the industrial zone. Costs a bit of plastic for the first time. Costs a lot, by the way. 12 coal as well. 6 plastic. Bit of scrap there. A lot of things that this one costs. Food is going down. 
So I hope the first harvest is coming in then as well. But we are growing really, I guess, a bit too quickly at the moment. Having perhaps, we could have a pasture now. Yeah, animals can be kept on pastures in order to slaughter them for food or obtain other resources via passive product yield. Different types of animals can be captured by a hunter when, and acquired by a barred trader. Oh, this is huge. We might have it then out here. Yeah. This fits actually nicely. There we have our first pasture coming up. We can take then probably here, capture it. Yep, capture it. There it is. Hunting and capturing. At the moment, it's only hunting. Um, take him then to the animal pasture. Alright, the water is washing away the radiation again. And w low water resources, yeah. But I'm more worried about the food at the moment. Let's just check there. We have... Oh, we still would have two more gatherer slots open. There's another adult. Let's go for gatherer. He can do this, right? Yeah. That is that. And of course first forest uh, harvest will be coming in here as we can see the food is growing so we might just go for even more fields here there's another one a bigger one and let's have another orchard up here then for the apples And there, oh, the herder. That's the herder that's coming up there. And let's just see. Let's reduce the builders and have two more farmers. So we're choosing here the apples once again. And here we choose. Uh, perhaps. Yeah, let's choose the black salsify for now on this one. Takes a bit longer, but yields more food overall. The herder or the pasture is now there as well. So we can soon have our first animals. So far so good, but it's getting a bit tough now. Stay tuned. <laughs> 